Good morning. It's 10:53 uh, a.m. on July 2nd, 2004, 2014. I need to travel back in time 10 years. And I wanted to talk about your final assignment that you have until July 14th. You have 12 days to complete this assignment. This is the persuasion speech. Now, I've looked at it in different ways over the years I've taught persuasion courses, and I, I've come to one conclusion. Uh, this is kind of the speech and debate model to say that what I'm planning to do today is the following. I'm going to give you one subject matter area that you're all going to work off. That's DWI, driving while intoxicated. Also, the topic area is, uh, and in essence, the thesis is scripted to one area. That is the following. Is the seizure of a vehicle at the first arrest of a drunk driver good policy as a matter of law? So, you have before you in the assignment packet all of the relevant DWI statutes for the state of Washington, which I have renamed Washitopia as an imaginary jurisdiction. You may, in your Google searches, just type in the following, drunk driving in Washington or DWI laws in Washington, and you'll get not just the government links, but you'll get a number of prominent DWI attorneys, folks who are in the business of defending you if you've had a drunk driving charge. And with that, you can then look at primers on how the law is viewed. You should also look at vehicle seizures as a part of DWI as a search and see what that yields. You'll find that seizure of vehicles is a matter of law in a number of nations, particularly uh, for those of us who are non-Asian, Scandinavia is the examples to look at. I am not familiar with the laws in Asia. So for those of you from Korea, Vietnam, Japan, etc., China, you'll have to do some nation-specific searches. So as a matter of law, you can compare and contrast the Washington versus European speeches and decide how you wish to go. I've given you a, an example of a testimonial, which is a John Stockton induction speech into the NBA, to give you an idea of how well a personal speech can go. You, the standards are up to 10 minutes of speaking time. A finished, typed outline submitted prior to the speech, or in this case, it'll be you'll put them up on the web at the same time you put your YouTube speech up. Completed bibliography. Again, if you fail to do this, it's a fail. There's no exceptions, no excuses. The speeches are designed to be completed on July 14th. The assignment opens on the 7th, closes on the 14th. You have till the 15th to review other speeches. So with that in mind, it's very important for you to get a, you have 12 days to get the materials together. Most of the materials I have gathered for you by going through the Washington State RCW to ascertain what you should do under state law. There have been also examples in the in state of Washington for vehicle seizures. I'm going to give you a little bit of help in the lead up to this. The biggest debate regarding seizure of vehicles is the following. If a vehicle is shared by a husband and wife or by a family, taking the vehicle away adversely affects the economics of the family. That has been the largest argument. The second argument is that the car is not is not the perpetrator, the driver is. And there's been a number of things that we've done in this state such as interlock devices, mandatory uh, attendant of alcohol treatment, a variety of, of uh, things that have been done. But if you do research, you'll also find that a lot of people will actually go in and get a negotiated plea down to reckless driving as compared to the driving while intoxicated. Or they will get a deferred prosecution, which means they basically plead guilty, they go through alcohol treatment, for abuse and they comply with the laws for two to five years and then they will also decide what they want to do in the future. The reason why I bring this up is that uh, and I'm also while I'm talking to you I'm correcting the uh, the date the due date on the Moodle entry because it was it was pasted from last fall and it's going to be the last day of class July 14th The purpose for that, frankly, is to allow for you to understand that you have 12 days to complete. Most of the research is within your fingertips, and you just need to move forward. Some comments about the speeches you've provided so far. I've been most impressed with the performance of everybody. All of you have been very diligent. Some of you have taken on some amazing, difficult topics to yourself as an informative and have really brought attention to everything. We've had great demonstration speeches. 
and very calm and collected analysis of problems and some great demonstration speeches. I really don't um, think that you can really go wrong if you can really show people with hand-drawn graphics of how something works. If you look at modern commercials, you'll see a lot of it is, you know, it's granted it's in motion, but the fact is that everyone thinks that it's particularly impressive if it's a hand-drawn object that you're explaining and they see the changes as it goes along. So for those of you and those cues, thank you. Now, there's something that you all need to work on, and I'm just as guilty as the next. Most of these webcams on most of these computers are mirror images. So, if you're putting text up to the screen, make sure on the playback it reads as text and not as mirror reverse. That sort of distraction ruins the impact of the speech. I knew what you were doing, but I'm your teacher and I have your outline. In the real world, they're just going to have the product in front of them in the meeting. So I want you to think very carefully about when you get my grades back and why I critique you on visual aids. They can ruin everything, not make it strong. And in the case with this class, you have time to fix this, okay? You've had two weeks to do your informative, and now you have two weeks to do your persuasive. I expect you to buff and polish. Now, granted, you're not in a studio. You're shooting this from your own computers and, and from mobile cameras. That's fine. But the things that you want to put in front of us for informative purposes should be just that, informative, not distracting. Um, and the critiques I gave the students on the VA issues, I'll give it to the group as a whole. If you want to use a book, page from a book or an article or magazine as your graphic, there are editing tools available. YouTube has tutorials on how to insert them, i.e., you make a JPEG of the, of the item in question, and you can insert it in the video. There are tutorials on how to do that. If you want to go low budget like I do and you want to hold something up, it's very important that you look to see. Now, on my playback, it looks like it's regular. I'm going to check this when I play this back for upload. And if it's not, then I have the same problem that you have. My proposed solution would be to take this image or whatever the image is, go ahead, go to Kinko's, spend the buck, get the clear plastic display of this, and then figure out how to, how, if it's a mirror image back, then when you go to look at it, if it's working properly, you have a white sheet of paper behind it, and then the, you check the transparency to see if it reads properly. It takes a few extra minutes, but you have 12 days to do this. This is the only thing you have to do for me. You've completed your quizzes. You've completed everything that you need going on. All of you are passing. I think the lowest grade in here is a B. This is not designed to be a widow maker of a class. This is a speech class. You know, you show up with a pulse and give your presentation and your outline. You've passed. You're not going to fail. Um, but, you know, to get a high quality grade requires a little patience and work. And that's what's been happening. This, the textbook is a very good guide on how to do things. And you should go through chapter, the chapter on persuasion and very carefully review all of those statements on how to structure a cause and effect, a problem solution, etc. For vehicle seizure, you're probably looking at uh, problem solution, cause and effect, depending on which side you want to take. So, and this is no, these are no tips to how to get an A. This is just kind of me. This is a big part of what I do in my life as a government relations professional. Point of fact is, if you want to, if you want to stop something from being a solution, you show the bad effects of implementation. If you want to, if you want to propose it as a solution, you, you propose the problem, you propose the solution, and you show why comparatively it's more advantageous to seize the vehicles than to not seize the vehicles. If you're against the proposal, you can always argue about the problems of unintended consequences, damage to other family members, or lack of efficacy in, in places. But the bottom line is, you're going to go find out what works and where, and then see if it could work in the mighty state of Watch Utopia, which is today's academic exercise. I hope you all have a good 4th of July weekend. Um, I will check in again with you afterwards. If there are any questions via email, fire them down range. Always happy to answer questions and keep everyone on focus. This has been a very interesting uh, experiment for me, and I wish I could meet all of you in person because um, I've liked everything that I've seen, and many of you have done a great job in this class. Again, thank you very much for your attention, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.